Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, today we are going to continue with the process of uh, fertilization whereby we shall illustrate how that process occurs. So we are going to illustrate that uh, in form of a diagram. So this is a, a mature ovum. Surrounded by follicle cells. And then we have the sperm cells. Moving towards. So these are the sperm cells. in all the directions <clears throat> so the sperm cells they produce the lytic enzymes that scatter that scatter the follicle cells, so these are follicle cells, and of course we have the ovum, So at number two, most of the follicle cells have been scattered. Then the third diagram is that there is one sperm cell. penetrates through the membranes so one sperm cell penetrates through the membranes and vitelline membrane hardens So this, uh, the outer membrane is the vitelline membrane. And then finally, so the nucleus now of the sperm cell after it has penetrated, it fuses with the nucleus of the ovum. So the process starts with the many follicle cells scattered, uh, many follicle cells surrounding the ovum. Uh, then the sperm cells release the lytic enzymes that start scattering the follicle cells. And then, of course, in the second diagram, we have seen that most of the follicle cells have been scattered. It's only a few that are remaining. And then after that, only one sperm cell penetrates through the membranes uh, and the vitelline membrane hardens. The outer membrane hardens 
to prevent other sperm cells from penetrating. And then finally, the nucleus of uh, the sperm uh, fuses with the nucleus of the ovum. Now, <clears throat> what follows after this, what follows after now the fertilization, uh, we form the zygote, and that zygote is formed within the oviduct. So we are saying that uh, after fertilization, the zygote is formed in the oviduct. Then this zygote moves towards the uterus by the contraction and the relaxation of the smooth muscles of the oviduct. Number two, also, the oviduct is also lined with cilia, hair-like structures that help to propel this zygote towards the, towards the, uh, the uterus. So the zygote moves along the oviduct. by one, the action of cilia, which are hair-like structures, that waft the zygote, and two, the contraction and relaxation of the smooth muscles along the oviduct. The smooth muscles along the oviduct. So the action of the cilia propel or waft the zygote towards the, the uterus and uh, the contraction and the relaxation of the smooth muscles along the oviduct. So propel the zygote to the uterus. So after that, now the next process that follows is the implantation, is the implantation which will now occur within uh, the oviduct, w within the uterus, sorry. The implantation will occur in the uterus. It is also good to note that uh, as the zygote moves along the oviduct, it, it continues to divide. It continues to divide and the number of cells continue increasing. So as the zygote moves along the oviduct, mitotic divisions occur. Mitotic divisions occur to form a mass of cells called a blastocyst. Mitotic divisions occur to form a mass of cells called a blastocyst. So we'll have a, an assignment at that point. So the first question, explain how the zygote moves along the oviduct. Uh, two, Name the type of cell division that leads to formation of the blastocyst. So we'll stop there. Until next time, goodbye.